So I poured distilled water in the potassium bisulfate um, round bottom flask here. I'm going to heat it to help it dissolve quicker. So it's obviously all dissolved. So I'm going to take this out of here. It's quite hot still. And we're going to pour it down here into this Pyrex dish. Be so careful because this is really warm. You have to use, you can see it's steaming. Well, maybe you can't, but it is steaming. You have to use borosilicate glass, which is what Pyrex is. Uh, otherwise, these sorts of things go awry very quickly. Here's our potassium bisulfate, fully dried out and crystallized. It, uh, it leaves some pretty neat crystals. I have some other videos here I'll show you. So the potassium bisulfate has completely dried out. And after a couple of days of sitting, it has formed these tufts of crystals all around this pan here. Um, and this is a couple of days after it completely had dried. So it's interesting. Honestly, I'm going to call them the coronavirus crystals. These are the uh, rather spiky crystals of something called potassium bisulfate. And uh, there's a whole pan of them here. Uh, it's in a glass Pyrex dish, but uh, this came as uh, the result of making nitric acid. This is the end product. And it was a liquid, I poured it in here, and over time it dried and created these crystals. There's that potassium bisulfate crystals growth, man. It's like a combination of ice cream, wax, and snow. Just weird.